Here at Pure Sports Medicine, uh, we're committed to keeping our community patients fit, healthy and well. As a result, we realise there's a need at present with the coronavirus situation to look into other options for our consultations. We've looked at the need for telecommunication and telephone consults. This video is going to explain how we're going to go about that over the next few weeks. That's a great question. Any one of our patients can access uh, our video or telephone consultations. Um, that can be new and existing um, and it's important to understand that these consultations will be structured very similar to uh, a face-to-face. -face. Booking a video consultation at Pure Sports Medicine is very easy. We would do it exactly the same way we would book any other uh, consultation. So you can inquire via the website, you can inquire via email, or you can pick up the phone and phone our reception. They will book the appointment as per any normal consultation, so they'll make sure it works for you in terms of time. They'll book it into the clinician schedule. Uh, and then prior to the appointment, the clinician will then email you just to discuss anything you might need for that consultation. You won't need a lot for your video, video consultation. Normally we'd ask for you to have a little bit of an open space, somewhere in the house where it's a little bit quiet perhaps, um, so that we can make sure there's no feedback or um, no distractions whilst you're having a consultation. Um, depending on the body site, we might have coached you about something that you might need for that being something like a pair of shorts or a t-shirt so we can inspect the area. Um, but what we would do to make sure you've got everything you need for that consultation is the reception team, when they take your booking, will contact the clinician. The clinician will then drop you an email or a telephone uh, call, depending on um, your preference, just to discuss anything they might feel they need for that consultation. expect that the clinician in question will structure the session very similarly to what they would if you was in a face-to-face -face consultation. They're going to ask you a series of questions which are relating to perhaps how your injury came about or your queries or your uh, worries about what's going on with that body site. They'll then go through a simple sort of past medical history, anything that they may need to know to make sure that they've got all the relevant detail for your injury. Led to, the, to waking up with the pain? Had you been to the gym at all? Was there any trauma at all? And then after that, we'll be looking to conduct an objective or a kind of physical examination. Now, on a telephone call or a um, Skype uh, consultation, that's difficult to have a hands-on assessment there. So what we would do is we'd look to have visual inspection, perhaps ask you or coach you for a series of tests or a series of um, provoking movements perhaps to elicit the, the detail that we need from that consultation to give us a, an idea of what we think is going on. Um, from that we will then lead you through the process towards a treatment plan. So once we've gone through our um, subjective and objective assessment, uh, we've taken you into the treatment plan process. So through this we're going to look to give you exercises or movements that you might practice at home. For that, we'll always send you a set of exercises or a set of those movements digitally, so you'll get that via email. Um, with this, we'll take into account the fact that you might not have access to your gym currently. So what we would do is make sure that you can conduct that at home and that's um, talking through what uh, equipment you might already have or what you might need to purchase or find, but preferably using what you have in your current environment. Now with that, once we've done that and you've uh, gone through your treatment plan, we'll look to reschedule an appointment as we would normally. So the key there is finding a date and a time that suits you. We'll book ahead um, as we would normally if it was a face-to-face. -face. And then if there's anything you might need for that uh, follow-up appointment, they would make sure you've got that pre the appointment and then you would carry that out as we would if it was a face-to-face -face consultation.